G'day guys, Bloody Drongo here with you, aka Emu, and welcome back to the Foster's Brewery. It's been a long time between drinks, but we are finally returned, and we are back better than ever. And uh, we are going to be making a warehouse today. And uh, But before we get into the warehouse stuff, I am just going to give you a quick little tour about what I've been working on uh, since the last video. We haven't done a huge amount actually on the Foster's Brewery deed itself. Um, I have been doing quite a bit on the manor house. On the deed here so you can see this this is new and uh, man look at this beautiful little wine cellar it's dug down into the ground give you a real sense of uh, descending down into the dank depths um, to get down here and uh, we've got a beautiful little ornate corner over here got some nice skulls and bookshelves and nice little oh man it's just so atmospheric here so immersive I love it and uh, just to complete this whole little area off very nicely we have actually a secret room behind the bookshelves. I mean, I just love that idea so much. I think that's so awesome. It's fantastic. It's great. Um, and we've also been doing a few other bits and bobs in here. We've made a very nice little uh, dining area, like a banquet room kind of thing over here. We've got some... Oh, man. For those of you who may not uh, be following Worm at the moment, we, can't, we have a whole bunch of new items in game now. And we can also place items on tables, bookshelves, all that kind of thing. It's fantastic. Look at that. And I mean, I just love this. I think it looks great. And uh, we've done all of this uh, and more. I mean, I do have a port deed that we've been working on as well. But I've done all of this live on Twitch. Um, every Wednesday we go live with Worm Wednesday. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a, a shameless plug now. Um, I have moved over to Twitch as my primary location for all of my uh, content. Uh, for both RimWorld, Worm, basically everything. Uh, so that is where you can find me more often than not. I'm not going to be super active on YouTube, but I will be uploading periodically. So, yeah. So if you want to check me out, you can go to www.twitch.tv uh, twi forward slash bloody drongo, and that will take you to, the, uh, to, to my stream. Um, you, I'll also put a link to that down below, so you can check that out there. Um, and uh, yeah, it would be great to see you there. Great to hang out with you guys if you haven't already followed me there already. But uh, let's get into the warehouse. Let's talk the warehouse. So we have um, on, on uh, one of our Worm Wednesday streams, we actually made, uh, harvested enough apples and got some enough apple juice to make ourselves a little clay tile over here, which is fantastic. It's great news for us because that was one of the initial goals when we founded the Foster's Brewery was to have a clay tile inside the deed. Uh, makes it very, very convenient for us. Um, and then we're just basically we're just gonna make a, a nice little warehouse in this area here So we've got some trees to clear out of the way. We've got some dirt that needs to be dug It's gonna be busy. It's gonna be a long process actually today because it is just me by myself and uh, We're gonna get stuck straight into it. I think um, Sanctus will be doing the time-lapse from up here I'm hoping this will be a decent angle from this little balcony up here uh, since it is a little bit more central of a location on the deed we won't be able to use the cliffs to our full advantage as we might normally do with the other time lapses in the past. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's get stuck in and uh, get going.
Okay, so here we are nearly eight hours later. Now it's, I always forget with these projects just quite how long they take, but man, I feel like this one is totally worth it. As we come along here looking at the beautiful new slabs that we've laid down and the marble fences as well along the edge of the tier there, I think it looks absolutely awesome. And uh, as we come up the top here as well, we've got a large uh, paved area so we might fill this up with some stuff. I think I'm going to put some flower beds down the side here and maybe some trees. We do have some linden trees planted down the side here, so I'm not sure whether that's going to be enough or whether it, it's going to need something a little bit more just to make it, you know, that extra bit nicer. Inside, we've got our beautiful slate uh, slabbed floors and we will eventually have this all completely filled out with... BSBs, bulk storage units, crates, you name it, we're going to have it down here and it's going to be fantastic. So all of our stuff is completely open, so it's very easily accessible by cart and wagon, which is exactly what you want in a storehouse, a warehouse. That's probably the number one thing that you're going to be looking for. And the key feature in this house, which is something I haven't done on one of my builds before, is this little bridge that comes up the middle. And in between these two marble braziers, it just runs straight up to the third floor in into these marble parapets that run the top. We've got more slate slabbed floors up here, beautiful slate roofs. And all of this is going to be used primarily for wagon storage. So whenever I've got wagons and they're not being used imminently, this is where they're going to live. I think it's going to look really, really nice and it keeps them nice out of the way. And uh, that's, that's pretty much mainly what this is going to be used for. But I have thought about it and the reason that we've used the bridge as well is not only is it easy to get the wagons up here to store them we can also use this for overflow storage of bulk storage units and uh, bsbs and that kind of thing and still have it really readily accessible for our for our builds in the future so yeah like i said this took about eight hours i was expecting it to take about five but it uh, certainly i don't know i just always underestimate always underestimate but it's been a lot of fun. It's been good to get into it again and make another episode of the Foster's Brewery. We've got our little clay tile down here. We'll probably drop some sand at the end of the road here just so we can have the sand and the clay right next to each other for that easy, easy mortar making. And leading out onto the main road here, which goes up to the the actual my, my actual house, my mansion, my workshop, all that kind of stuff. It's all up there. But I think this build has turned out pretty damn nicely if you have any suggestions on how i could improve this how i can you know help decorate it lay it out please let me know in the comment section down below and man i hope to see you all next time i plan to have this scheduled to come out on wednesday so you guys will have something to you know satiate that worm you know get your worm hit for the week while I am on holidays and unable to do a Worm Wednesday stream. So fingers crossed this, uh, you know, helps get you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy. I'll catch you later.